has. Everyone keeps saying this is the movie that is terrible, but I don't see why this is a terrible. Yeah, I don't. I see. I don't see why either. I think that the cards is. Um, I can see why critics might not have liked it as much as Pixar's other movies because it does kind of. Uh, was that at a time thing or? It does, yeah, it was kind of like after the Incredibles, it was kind of a, a dip in terms of ambition, in terms of originality. I mean, it does have kind of a predictable plot, you could say. Yeah, um, uh, but sort of. Yeah, but I don't. Think, I don't think that means the lesson that in the heart is missing. I think that the the, the lesson, they, like McQueen, is a great protagonist. I really like. I really like. Like you, you hate him at the beginning, right? You hate him. Yeah, yeah. Because um, he's but by the end of it, much. But but you really see him from the other characters' perspectives, and you go like this. This this is basically a kid who just needs a different perspective on the world, and then he might be all right, you know? You just, you just want him to change. You want him to be decent, because um, he's, so he's, the the he's, well. he's the underdog. He's the underdog. He's the first, he's the first um, uh, rookie, rookie, to, rookie, rookie to basically nearly win a uh, Piston Cup, and um, I think... I think that's why everybody kind of there is a smidgen of likability to him because you like, you want him to succeed over Chick Hicks and um, oh, what's the other one called the King. Um, you want him to succeed because he's the rookie, he's the underdog, he's the you want him to be the one that that, that proves all the haters wrong, right? But then that's what he's thinking, and that's his arrogance, and that's what he needs to change, and that's how when he goes to Radiator Springs. And learns the learns to slow down. What a great metaphor for slowing down. He's a literal, he's a car that literally needs to slow down and enjoy life. Um, I think that is that that is such a great. Yeah, but I think John Lasseter is like he's onto something there. I think that he really does care about this universe, and I really do think that the first cars sets it up so well. And I know maybe we don't like. As a we're Australian, we don't really have a sense of small town America, and we don't really kind of identify with small town America. But um, um, a great setting for the change that Lightning experiences, and that's why I think it works. Mm. Yeah, well, uh, I know we're not uh, we're, we're Australians, so we don't really get the whole Route, uh, route 66 um, stuff. But you do. No. I think it's um, universally you do feel sorry for these characters who were, who were once very popular the town, Radio Springs, only but suddenly now have you know pretty much faded away from existence because of the bypass. So yeah, um. and also a change in like now sort of landscape sort of thing because there's heaps of bypasses just keep. Being built, yeah, it does. People, yeah. people are obsessed with. It's also kind of a, a parable for the modern day, where everybody's obsessed with doing things quickly, getting things done, being yeah. speedy, and, and and taking shortcuts, being efficient. Whereas sometimes it's just good to just take a step back, just go for a walk, and just admire the scenery. Or you know, sometimes it's nice to just get away and not not have to rush through life. Like life is just going by so fast. It's yeah, like it's a race, you know? It's good to slow down and enjoy the ride. And it's just an empty cup. Like, why, what are we doing all this for? Are we doing it just for an empty cup? Is that all we're doing? Should we enjoy it more, maybe? We should take more out of the actual process and not the end result. Yeah, so the, the Cars is definitely Pixar's... Uh, I, yeah, I still think Pixar's one of Pixar's best films. I, still, I, I, I stand by that. Still, it's still a fantastic. Still a fantastic film, um, but yes, it probably is their weakest since at least a bug's life in, in, in the timeline at the moment because after The Incredibles and after Finding Nemo, which are just know, astronomical, amazing, they're masterpieces, it's it was cool. kind of a little bit of a, a little bit of a dip, but it's still an amazing um, film with, a, with great ideas. Maybe just not... Maybe just not the execution of it just doesn't always work all the time. And, and, and one of the major, main criticisms of the cars is that it um, it just doesn't make sense because how can cars? Why are cars in this universe? Why as it all work? But I don't think we're supposed to think about it. I think we're just supposed to take it as the lesson it is, and uh, learn to learn to uh, learn from it. 